Hey guys, it's Christian here, aka DJ Polska from Alapan Entertainment, and today is August 2nd, 2011. And right now, I want to show you guys a little preview of my homemade do it yourself type facade that I'm building. Uh, right now, I just have the frames done. My dad's in the carpentry business, so he actually did them for me at work. Um, it's a little different than the most facades you've seen probably on the other videos uh, mainly because it's different dimensions it's kind of my own idea um, but yeah I'm gonna bring the one of the frames here and I'm gonna show it to you guys on the next clip alright guys here's one of the five panels that I have um, I didn't mention in the last clip that they were already painted with one coat of black paint um, it's gonna be about three coats total uh, I'll show you guys what kind of paint I used um, later on and uh, right now I just want to get to the main difference which is the dimensions um, the most do-it-yourself uh, facades that I've seen have panels sized 4 feet tall and 2 feet wide and um, the dragon boards are 46 inches tall which is just about 4 feet and 3 feet wide but my facade, the panels are only 3 feet tall and 2 feet wide. Um, that's 36 inches tall and the standard table is about 29 inches. So it's only 7 inches taller than the table. And I chose those dimensions for a reason, but I can't really show you guys now. So I'm going to wait till um, everything's finished, probably end of this week. And um, then you guys could see and I could explain why I chose the dimensions that I chose. Okay guys, now I want to show you something that, you know, I couldn't have done without my dad, you know, he couldn't even do it at home. Um, like I said, he did this at work, all the frames, he painted them at home, but he did the frames at work, and if you could see, there's no joints on any of the corners. This whole panel is one piece and um, I think that way it's going to be really strong and it's actually easier for him to do it this way than actually you know have to make um, the joints either 45 or Tyron blue joints overlapping joints that he used he said it took him a few minutes to cut these out at work so once again there's no joints and each panel is about um, only five to six pounds which is not as light as I thought it could be but um, it's really light you can't even like you know can't even like feel it I was actually surprised when I weighed them that they were that much I was expecting like three pounds but we did use um, three quarter inch panels like the standard um, dragon boards could have used a half an inch would have been a little bit lighter but like I said it's not really that big of a deal and it's going to be more durable and uh, as you can see in the back there's a little groove in there that he did at work as well and uh, I'll show you guys the next clip what that's for okay, it's hatched to the back of the panels it's not going to be by staples that's the original idea that I had but we're not going to do that anymore um, the way we're gonna do it, it's actually a lot easier um, to do it. A lot easier to take out the fabric in case something happens, and it's gonna look super clean in the back. And um, once again, this is probably something you can't do at home. My dad did this at work, but here you go. We're gonna show you guys right now how it's gonna be done. Okay, guys, here's the back of the panel once again. You see all the grooves all around. Um, this is what I mean by you probably can't do this at home unless you have the right tools. Um, here's a stick that we made. Um, it goes in this groove. This is just a prototype to make sure it works with this fabric. Um, see it goes in perfect and it's going to be the full length. It's going to be painted black and it's going to be all around. 
and um, as you see right now it's fair, it moves fairly easy and it's you could take it out fairly easily but when you put the fabric hold on one second it's kind of hard with one hand but whatever here's the fabric and I'm going to put the stick in as you see now it doesn't want to go in as easy but once it goes in it's very snug it's very snug and um, see it won't move I might put a couple nails in it or at least one just to keep it in there just just so it doesn't pop out on me when it's heavy base or something like that but I'm gonna cut the fabric on this outside edge right there so it's gonna look kinda like this nice and clean cut and this of course is gonna be painted black so it's gonna be almost invisible and the f inside part it's gonna look like this kind of you get the idea it's hard to show it just one stick um, but yeah I hope you guys stay tuned. Um, Alright guys, that was part one of my do-it-yourself facade video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it's not much to it yet. I just want to show you a basic overview of what it's going to look like. Um, the delays, the hinges right now, once they come in, we'll be all set. We'll start working on it. I'll try to get some video on the painting process, attaching the fabric, and of course, once everything's complete with the lights and all that, actually ordered the light seat last night it should be here tomorrow it took me a good few days to figure out what lights I wanted to uh, work with um, I want give to a, give a shout out to Mikey Mike um, Stewart Productions uh, on stage DJ KJ a couple other guys that helped me out with either with the facade with the ideas um, and of course with the lights which is my biggest issue I was not sure what lights to get, um, but yeah, right now also there is an American DJ tour in the local store next to me uh, in Hackensack, New Jersey, which is about five minutes driving, um, but unfortunately I can't make it, otherwise I would have gave you guys a nice um, footage from there, but um, next week exactly on the Tuesday I'll be at the DJ Expo. And maybe on a Thursday, on the last day, I'm not sure yet. Um, so I hope to see you guys there and um, stay tuned for the rest of the build of the facade.